what's up y'all it's your girl Nick g the host and today i'm back with another reaction video before we go any further make sure y'all like comment subscribe and share this video you dig what i'm saying with the goddamn hair your league so money bag yo finally opens openly admits to cheating on ari fletcher child we are about to get into this and i want to get into it for reasons let's do it okay you guys so money bag yo recently did a interview with angie martinez on her irl podcast now he opened up about a lot of things and one of those things was his infidelity now he did speak on cheating on ari fletcher in the past and he kind of spoke about how she took it take a listen mistakes. i made some mistakes you already know what i'm mm -hmm. what i'm getting there with that i made some mistakes she didn't take that well she didn't take that well but uh so you, it get crazier, like, it's different, like, when you do something and then it's like, oh, you did it, okay. But then it's different, like, when, when a mother, like, when you have the person, like, call them and Aww. try to tell them everything, like, he did this and this and he was doing it. Did you know he, do, did you know this and this and that? So it, that made it even worse on her, like, but I kept it G, though. I just kept it G, like, yeah, you know, you know, I did that. You know, I'm sorry, baby, you know what I'm saying? And this is how That's fans responded crazy. to that interview. One person said, why is it so hard for men to actually be monogamous? Like, y'all. It's a lot of people that's mad at me right now saying that I'm normalizing cheating. Right? You just normalize cheating. It's bad as a community. Normalize cheating. Girl, bye. Why don't y'all take people for who they really are and take situations and things for what it really is? Why is it so hard to do that? These men, and it ain't all men. It's not. I know that. I do know that. But it's a lot of them. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's the fucking majority. I don't care what y'all talk about. Men. I feel like it's three reasons why men cheat. One, they just pieces of shit and just like to do shit that they ain't supposed to fucking, right? Two, I think that I want to see if I still got it. I think that is a real thing for men. Their egos, which is going to, I'm going to mix with that. Ego, men were born with an ego and the ego makes them do a lot of dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dumb shit. Um, but not only that, that I want to see if I still got it. Y'all, I have guy friends. I have brothers. I have cousins. And they all have told me the same thing. I just, you know what I'm saying? I want to see if I still got it and shit. You know what I'm saying? They want to see if they still got it. So that's number two. Ego, see if I still got it. That's just really together. Um, and three, they woman ain't fucking them at home. Now, I always talk to y'all about number three because I just feel as though, and I've asked y'all this because 95% women follow me. And I always ask y'all, like, if you don't want to have sex with your man, do you actually expect him to sit there and beat his meat? And y'all have told me, yes, he better figure it out. My question to y'all is why the hell would you let him figure that out? When all this ass is out here. You know what? Let's go number four. All this damn Instagram, Facebook, Twitter temptation. I know be driving these, <laughs> these penises up the wall, girl. Because on Twitter, all you see is sex. On Instagram, all you see is ass. On, on, on Facebook, all you see is ass. It's everywhere. Even if they were like, you know what? I'm going to be a faithful man and not look at nothing. <laughs> it's impossible. It's temptation everywhere. Y'all need to stop second, second guessing flesh. Now, do I think everybody cheat? I don't. I don't. And, well, I mean men. Hell, I think women cheat more than men. And I think they cheat way better. Be honest with you. But... <clears throat> When I got in my relationship, sex was uh, at the top of the list for me because I like to have sex. You get, you get what I'm saying? So when I met my girlfriend, that was the topic of the conversation. Not only all this other shit, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, but baby, listen too. 
I like to have sex. You know what I'm saying? So if, if we if we not talking about that, we don't even need to do this. Thank God we both was on the same page in that area. Um, when I first got with her, I was used to her talking to guys. She used to me talking to girls. We got a different conversation, me and my my woman. You know what I'm saying? Because we have a different understanding. And I'm going to keep it hot with her at all times for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, men don't feel like they could do that. If a woman be like, uh, are you cheating on me? Or have you cheated on me? Or have you looked at another woman? Or do you want someone? Do you want to fuck someone else? They crying while asking the question. God damn, you can't just be, ask me. Like, <laughs> you want to do it to somebody else? Yeah, sometimes I do think about fucking another bitch. I think in that case, I feel like men should give all women options. And I think everybody should get everybody options. If you feel as though you want to smash something else and you're not married, tap in. You better say something. I ain't even gonna lie. Because why, why, are, why do women put themselves through so much pain when they know it's a possibility for their nigga to go fuck somebody else? I don't get it. And maybe that just come with age. But what do I know? Just don't be in a relationship then. Bro, you ain't do nothing wrong. Don't feel guilty for being a natural man. Crazy how these women have us thinking that we need to suppress who we are. Your success in your relationship is not just about cheating. She could not be giving you something you need and one woman is not enough. That's what I'm telling y'all. A lot of men feel as though women do not give them what they need. What y'all don't know is a lot of men, they like to be loved. They like to be touched. You get what I'm saying? Men, uh, <laughs> if we're going to go into love languages, men love languages at the top of the list is touch. Don't we know that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Women don't, I don't want to do it tonight. I don't want to, I don't want to. All right. So what you expect a nigga to beat his meat all the time? Y'all, that's not how that works. And some women feel some type of way when a nigga do that. Girl, you better get that shit together. Please don't ever announce that you cheated on me publicly and that I took you back. Let me take my L in silence. Meanwhile, she was just adding the side chick he was just spotted with the other day. Uh, and she's referring to this girl right here. Now, uh, this is allegedly, okay, allegedly Moneybag Yo side chick. And Ari actually called her out on Twitter when she said she ain't the only one. My Your hands always out too. Let's talk about it. Yeah, she ain't the only one because my hand always out. Hand always out. And Ari said, your hand always out too. Let's talk about it. Yeah. But again, like I... And not the side chick summon Ari. I always, always say, I do not believe that these rappers can be faithful to And that's this another thing. Y'all should never expect these out of all people. The rappers to be faithful? Are y'all serious? So I need to know right now in the comments, ladies. If you was dating a rapper... Would you expect for him to be faithful? Number one is yes. Number two is no. Would you expect for your man, if he was a rapper, athlete, anything of a public figure, hell, a YouTuber that got a lot of money, would you expect him to be faithful? I need to know. Hell no. No. Y'all talking about on kick. No. So y'all expect different from a nigga if he regular. Okay, so Lady Passion says she expect him to be faithful. Friend, you're living in a fairy tale. You can expect it, but don't be surprised. And you know what? Let me not even say you live in a fairy tale. My apologies. I just feel as though If you don't think that man is tempted, you're crazy. I expect him to be faithful, but I understand. Uh, one woman, I feel like... Okay, so that's another thing that I'm not saying. It's no way in hell a nigga gonna not be faithful to me and I'm gonna be faithful to him. I would never. If you out there doing you, just know I'm going to do me. All right? And we're going to come back and do each other. But listen, for them to expect for y'all to be faithful, 
That's where y'all got to step in and tell him he lost his damn mind. And right, that's my whole thing, the option. I need my option. Because some of y'all will stick around for a nigga if he give you an option. At least you respected me enough to give me an option. You get what I'm saying? For sure. I think everyone deserves an option. But I'm going to tell you right now, if I was with a rapper, man, or whatever, and he was cheating, bet. Baby, you mad? Hell no. Because I'm about to, too. What the fuck? You got the, yeah. And if he leave me, bet. <laughs> I'm not losing shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what my partner, what job my partner got. If you are with me, we are going to have a convo where we agree to be monogamous. Ain't no partner of mine going to be given a pass to cheat. Well, so if you break the commitment, this is on you. Hold the L. And also, when you're not married, it's not a commitment in, in America. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> the American laws is the only way a person is cheating is if you're married because remember when they ask us things on these job interviews and shit like that, are you single or married? Bitch, you y'all single as hell. If you ain't married, <laughs> look, I used to come to my daddy all the time crying. Cause a girl that cheated on me, girl, I was just distraught when I was young, <laughs> young. And my daddy was like, listen, you're single till you're married. <laughs> Don't ever forget that. I was like, damn. But he ain't lying. That's America's law. I'm just saying. Not in VA. Domestic partners is a thing. Okay. Well, not in VA. But yeah. Listen, you cheat on me, baby. I'm cheating back. And that's just pure. Call me. Call me juvenile. I will be. Back that ass up. Like, it's just too many options I out still there get half. for them to what? just choose one. If, what? What? Jamie, if you're not in a relationship, I mean, excuse me, if you're in a relationship with a person in VA and y'all break up, you're telling me you get half? That don't make sense. You should have to be able to sign a domesticated relationship then. That should be something you can sign off of. So I got to give a prenup to a bitch that I'm just about to smash it after this uh, little date? That's what you trying to tell me? You're going to have to explain that one, Frank. I ain't understanding it. We done with this video. Y'all let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section below. Would that be you? All right. Bye.